Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Through the Ages using the replay feature on the app. So this is a game I played recently. Um, so yeah, the, we'll have a quick look at the Leaders and Wonders. Um, so Pyramids uh, is taken by the opponent. Um, there are still potentially two very good Wonders here, Library and Roman Roads. Uh, we have Alex available to us. Cleopatra uh, could also be a, a choice next turn. Um, Leo, um, Joan of Arc, the only one with the red military uh, action out of all the leaders. And then the Kremlin is the only other one. So not, not too many military actions here. Um, Himeji is always one to be aware of. Um, no ocean liner, no back. Um, Gandhi is in the deck, uh, Marlene as well, and then International Red Cross, but no Manhattan Project. Um, so yeah, that's a quick overview of the leaders and wonders. I think here um, I could go Hammeraba, but Engineering Genius and Alex, um, getting Alex early will save me a food if I replace him immediately. And then Engineering Genius is one of the best, strongest cards of AJ. Um, especially with potentially Roman roads and library coming out. So I think that's uh, what I go with here. And there's library. Um, fortunately, given its position there, it'll probably fall on two for us, uh, depending on the cards he takes. I get Alex selected immediately, build a mine, and I end up taking library for two. Um, none of those cards really appealed to me. Um, I could have popped in case there's a religion event, but missing out on that wonder when I have it, engineering genius A, didn't seem worthwhile. So he goes with the fourth mine instead of a lab, which is a little um, not not standard. So I'm going, uh, I choose al alchemy here. Um, the reason for that is I see Leo is coming. Um, and I think given where he's going to fall, so he, he'll move at least four, so one, two, three, four. So unless my opponent takes him next turn, um, which probably wouldn't make sense unless he also takes alchemy because I, he doesn't have printing for us. Um, I'll probably get Leo for one on my next turn and given I've already replaced Alex, um, yeah, the alchemy, uh, it, it, I usually uh, probably more often than not skip alchemy, um, particularly if I have library. But I think here, given Leo, like Leo is quite a strong leader if you can get the right setup and the right timing and I think this this kind of played into that so I went for alchemy he finishes pyramids get, gets masonry and takes silk road so I'm going to have leo iron uh, both available for one that's nice to have that extra pop finish library get leo elected and take iron. I do miss out on engineering genius, but I thought the other play was better. So he goes with a fifth mine um, and takes engineering genius, which isn't that useful for Silk Road, um, given that it gives three resources and no, no stage of Silk Road costs that much. Um, but yeah, that's. And he's still only on one lab. So we do get the religion event. I get alchemy going with Leo and just take rich land for the, the iron upgrade that I'm going to do next turn. His second uh, religion here. Yeah, get the second uh, upgrade and then increase pop to get out of corruption. 
so he, he goes with Mike Michelangelo. Um, I usually dislike playing against Michelangelo and and actually Genghis as well. Um, Mike just because it's so difficult to keep up in culture. Um, if they really get, if an opponent really gets a proper uh, culture engine going, uh, and then Genghis is just I find very awkward to play against given, um, you know. He, he benefits from the extra strength. It's easy for him to get extra strength given um, if he has the right tactic, of course. Um, and then, yeah, the, him being stronger, like uh, a, an opponent with Genghis being stronger is more likely to have played strength events, I guess, so the event deck becomes more dangerous as well. Um, I guess it's similar to playing against Zhishka, which is also quite unappealing. He gets my collected and takes code of laws, so we're a bit, bit uh, struggling with civil actions a little bit. So unfortunately, I played that before uh, I knew he would take Mike. So I I, I took uh, that was an expensive uh, pick for me, but I didn't want. I figured if 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 I didn't take it, he would. Um, and given there's no other wonders on the row, I was just trying to trying to limit um, his ability to to take wonders basically and, and benefit from them. And it's also a very strong wonder as well. And given he has Mike, I, I'm anticipating maybe I I will have to go down the strength route. So he gets iron up. And running, get builds a second mine, and and gets theocracy. So given my uh, oh. yeah, that that one hurt a lot. <laughs> um, given I got Leonardo so soon, so early, and didn't really have great ways to spend the science, um, I lose quite lose that quite badly. But given I have still have enough science. I think uh, strategy to get the third and fourth military action is very important here. And I can build one stage of, of that as well. Now Newton is coming down and given we're struggling with civil actions, I'm, I'm thinking here Newton might be might be a good pick. Um, even though uh, he's much better with scientific method and or computers, um, given our lack of civil actions, he, he could be quite valuable for us. So he goes straight for um, a wonder and builds it outright. Um, and then builds another warrior, probably just to defend. So I, I pay two cards and, and the, the warrior for that. Finish Himeji, take Newton. Um, and take the rich land to get the uh, basically a free upgrade with the iron. So third, third, or he, yeah, he takes James Watt. Um, I could, I guess, deny him coal, but my problem here is just my lack of si uh, civil actions are, are quite painful at the moment. So I, I make good use of Newton there. Um, I get architecture out. Um, I also get opera out, and that allows me to build another opera, um, or or my first opera. So I'm just trying to keep in touch with uh with culture given he's he's producing 12 with his uh louvre um yeah i, th I think the opera uh it, it gave me an extra happy face and also just trying to keep up and also like g i still only have four actions um and being able to get all those uh, actions done like developing architecture and louvre um So he goes with Kremlin, uses some tokens off Louvre for that, and takes the Eiffel Tower. I, I thought the Eiffel Tower was maybe a bit, uh, I don't know, greedy, given he only has five production. Um, but I guess given he, he was about to lose Mike, then I guess it made, might have made sense. So I can't deny him selective breeding here. Um, I don't really 
bid for that. I don't think I had enough cards. So Kalman was almost an instant pick here, given I still only have four civil actions. He increases strength and gets engineering. So going into age three, uh, we're at 40 and seven um, cultural production versus his 66 and 10. We do have better science, equal in resources, and his food is, is a bit better, but I do a selective breeding. Um, so yeah, I think priority is given he increased his uh his strength, uh, I decide to to develop uh Ripoman instead of common. So he does have a happiness problem, but given team sports. So we're now equal in strength, so I, I feel pretty okay about playing an event here. And it does pay off, so that's probably one of the worst events when you're behind in strength. So I'd go calm on, get uh, another opera up and running. So we're now at 10 culture production. Uh, so we're equal on culture, so we're not too far behind. We have somewhat fixed our civil actions. We definitely have military action advantage. Um, we just need food now. Um, Yeah, it's just a small uh, benefit for me from that. So he goes oil. It's quite early as well for that. Which is good for him. I I had seeded that before and I end up taking out one of his team sports given his happiness problems. So yeah, like I said, getting food going, endowment. Um, just taking some yellows so he rebuilds and finishes Eiffel so he's now up to 13 I was a little surprised by democracy uh, given he's only on 4 but perhaps once he upgrades for now maybe he gets, gets that back um, yeah, so 78 to 10 and 10 versus 96 and 13 um, I had 7 plus 6 science so I wasn't going to be able to get democracy anyway um, and given I just developed calm on it I don't know probably wouldn't have made sense to, to go for that given my quite low science so I, I luckily had plenty of uh, colonization cards so this was actually a very beneficial colony for me so that I get another opera going so here I'm thinking um, his food is quite low well it's six uh, so he's like he's not gonna be able, given he took so many wonders earlier he's not gonna take Red Cross if I leave it on this slot because it's currently one two three four five six seven eight so it's gonna cost seven civil actions uh, which is basically his whole turn for a wonder he's not going to be able to complete and I should be able to get at least two stages out of if he if he takes it um, but I, I don't think he will so my thinking here is take uh, engi or engineering I'll be able to develop that um, and take the Red Cross and build I think four stages of the Red Cross um, and then yeah I would still leave, I would still leave myself open to, to grabbing one of the other wonders as well um, at this stage it's it's going to be Hollywood um, and yeah because, because obviously the International Red Cross takes food and I'll still have the resources um, so yeah that, that was my thinking for taking engineering for three gets Sid Meier going so he's up to 19 now um, compared to my 12 
so he's quite quite a bit ahead in culture production but of course I have the International Red Cross coming and there's Hollywood so yeah uh, Mardine uh, boosts my culture production uh, c civil service um, really helps the civil actions and allows me to to get everything I wanted to get done and still leave Hollywood available um, he's not going to be able to finish Hollywood if he takes it um, so I was okay leaving it he could hate craft it I guess but that would take up quite a bit of his turn um, so yeah that, that was kind of the play on, on this turn so yeah and age three go into age four uh luckily i got marlene in just before happiness comes out um so that was quite beneficial for me he goes with democracy so he did get it eventually and builds a few team sports so maybe there's um architecture in the in the deck impact of architecture so I finish International Red Cross, take Hollywood, finish it for another 24. Uh, so we're now at uh, 168 on my 183. And then just build a warrior. So I think I see the impact of population. So he wins uh, competition balance I just edge him out and there's population and wonders so it got quite close in the end um, his yeah I guess is I guess I was saved by my by the two age four wonders just to overcome the culture deficit um, but yeah that was uh, an interesting game um, let's take a look at the graphs um, culture so you can see how it evolved um, I was I was lagging quite a bit given he had Mike um, but eventually was able to overcome it went with the two wonders uh, science um, yeah I was at a pretty consistent advantage all the way uh, until he got Sid Meier and computers running um, and that was with only two alchemies as well um yeah and then food uh again he was pretty uh consistently producing more uh but then once i got selective breeding up and running um really helped with with the ocean liner uh resources again he was produced uh more throughout um and had quite a sizable difference at the end um and yeah then then your strength so yeah that's uh that's everything for this game i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments uh if you have any thoughts otherwise thanks for joining um hopefully you can join again next time